This is a morel. Morels are some of the most delicious mushrooms in the world. And this morel is quite unique because we're growing it. We planted these morels in August, and now it is mid-April, and every little flag indicates a morel fruiting. Now, very interesting how quickly these morels came up. On Monday we had one, on Wednesday we had five, on Friday we had 50, and now we're clearly on their way to having more than 100 morels. Now, the morels are planted with spawn, and every little square you see here is a morel patch, and we create a, a graveyard, a, a nutritional void, um, where uh, the morel spawn is planted in one location, and the morels usually form several feet away from the point of inoculation. This is the nature of morels. They like impoverished, uh, nutritionally depleted habitats, like burned areas, gravel, roads, etc. And we've been doing this for several years now, and this experiment is proving to be very successful. Now, this is in the Northwest, and many places like us, in the two weeks before the morels form or show up, or, um, we have a unique weather pattern, whether we have rain and we have sleet and we have blue skies, and then we have more rain and sleet and then blue skies and lots of wind. And this happens just the two weeks prior to the morels appearing. Uh, so if you want to join with us on these experiments, it doesn't always work, but when it does, it's very exciting and very rewarding and also very delicious. Uh, contact us at fungi.com, F-U-N-G-I.com. We're going to zoom down into the morel heaven landscape, and uh, there's a beautiful morel coming up. And we go to the next flag, and, and here's another really nice morel showing. And there's a really beautiful one showing up here. And then we'll zoom over, and oh my, we have three morels showing up here. That's fun. And we're going over here, and here's another one. I think you're ready for the table. Um, but to give you some idea, we have these morels showing up all over, well into the distance into the woods.